What's going on everybody? Chris and Mike here and today we're doing a real short video. We got this in the mail today. Really excited. We got the Sea of Thieves limited edition Xbox One controller. The one thing I love about Xbox One controllers is they do really awesome work sometimes with their limited editions and Sea of Thieves is going to be an awesome game. I was really excited for it but I was even more excited when they announced that they were actually making a special limited edition um, Sea of Thieves controller. There's the specs on it. We're going to look at it in a moment. But I don't really buy controllers too, too often. I know a lot of people like to make collections of controllers like Lamar Wilson. He does a lot of um, Xbox One controllers. PlayStation doesn't do it as much as Xbox does, I noticed. But Xbox, when they make limited edition or special edition controllers, they do a really excellent job. So let's waste no time. I already broke the tape underneath. Let's open this up. And I got to say, off the bat, I love the way they present their their controllers. They always have them in a case like this where they're sitting up. You literally could cut the top off and leave it here. Let me take this off real quick and I'll show you guys a up top kind of view. They always do like a nice little kind of display for it. Now there is also a charging stand for this um, controller. We didn't get it yet. This controller goes for anywhere from, I believe we paid uh, 60 and change for it. It can go up to 70, 80. I think now that it's sold out, it'll probably hit the hundreds. Um, but there is a charging stand that you can pre-order now for this that is going for, I believe, $50. It says Sea of Thieves. And basically what happens is the controller sits on top of it like this and the, the whole bottom part is where the stand is and the uh, rechargeable batteries will go in the back. But one thing I don't understand is there is a symbol on the back over here which you can see when I do this. So if the, you take this off, the rechargeable back has a hole in the middle so you could charge it. So I don't know if they would change it up a bit so that you still have this and maybe the recharge, I don't know how they would do it. But anyway, let's actually look at the controller. I do want to take the uh, Duracell, or not Duracell, are they Duracell? They look like Duracell, but they, oh, anyway, you, you could take these out for me. In the meanwhile, wow, there's some, okay, anyway, close this up. Yeah, they're on Duracell, so it's right there. Okay. So one thing I've noticed already is I got like this paint on my hands. I hope it's not from the controller. I hope it's from the box. But anyway, here's the controller. You get that. I'll do, let it zoom in. One thing I like is at the top, you can see it's a little bit transparent up here. For the thumbstick, it's actually, a, first of all, it's a purple and green. Let me actually turn the light on because the light might actually work in this case. For the Yeah, it works a little bit better for the controller. Not so much for the box, but for the controller. You got like a purple mixed with green. For the left thumbstick, you have a um, north. You can't really see it. That's the weird. Yeah, you can on the camera. You can at least a little bit. You have north, south, east, and west. One thing I like, and you can see it in the light. There's little detail put in for like barnacles and stuff like that. You got the the um, Sea of Thieves logo, play Xbox button. Then on the back, they have the gold tooth trigger, which is really awesome. And then I showed you guys the logos on the back. And then there's no rubberized grip, which is weird because I thought they put rubberized grips. And then, of course, you have the standard bottom, so you can put the regular uh, headphone jack if you want. But they also now put in this one, so you can put in any type of universal jack, like the um, if you have Turtle Beach or whatever. Let me just pull this off on the off camera. Slide on the batteries because I believe, if I am not mistaken, the controller also has a really cool glow in the uh, glowing feature no it does not but they say that this also glows in the dark so I, th I was I was under the impression that this glowed I guess I was wrong now the uh, it's looking for the Xbox our Xbox so I'll actually take the batteries out and wait stop it from blinking at least so I love this controller. This is going to be my Sea of Thieves controller when we're playing Sea of Thieves. It's very comfortable, fits in the hands very nice. I like the paint job on it. I love the logo on it. I could have sworn that the logo glowed and I see a I see a light behind it. I guess that's for um, when you're maybe when you're playing it'll light up. I'm not too sure, but obviously I don't have a game in right now to play, but I'm gonna be saving this for exclusively playing Sea of Thieves. It is definitely, in my opinion, worth the money. I like the detail they put into it. <clears throat> Again, if you're in, if you're really invested in a game like we are with Sea of Thieves, then custom controllers or limited edition controllers are definitely something you might consider. 
Personally, now, this is our second controller. Our standard one doesn't really work anymore. I got one for Christmas, uh, and now we have this one. So we officially have two controllers now, which me, Michael, that's it. So uh, I really don't think we'll be getting any more special edition controllers on the... Oh, this actually moves very smoothly also. Uh, so this will probably be like the only limited edition one we get unless they make one that's like Spider-Man or Superman or something You know when the Spider-Man game comes out, maybe they'll make one for Spider-Man uh, But now it would be more of only if we really really want it. This actually is a perfect perfect Addition to our controller our controller collection, which is only now two It's an awesome controller if you guys are de de debating about getting it. I think it looks great I love the gold tooth. I love that that feeling for that trigger uh, it looks great. It feels great in the hands. And again, Xbox controllers can also be used on PC. So if you need a PC controller and you're looking for one and you're willing to spend a little bit extra, why not? Especially if you're going to be getting Sea of Thieves. Uh, I'm excited for the game. I'm going to be saving this controller for the game. And uh, I'm excited to be streaming it also. So this is just a little spotlight for the uh, Sea of Thieves controller. Thank you all so much for being here. And uh, do you have anything you would like to add about the controller before we go? Uh, the detail of it looks really nice. The glow in the dark also uh, looks uh, pretty cool. And like you said, the gold tooth uh, trigger was actually a nice uh, touch to it. Very nice touch. Along to with uh, all the other controls that uh, glow as well, like um, you know the X Y A B button and the middle one, which well, I that's think green paint. I think that might, like you said, glow in the dark when you play the game or when you're playing a it game. It might just probably. glow in the dark. Period. When you turn the lights off, or maybe I'm completely wrong and I just sound stupid. But either I way, don't know. either way for that, but. Uh, it, it looks nice for a collector's edition for a game. Uh, why not? Definitely. <clears throat> All right. So thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Keep reading. Keep collecting. And uh, we'll see you soon. Later. Later.